This is a very serious injury. There's no handbook. There is your imagination and your skill, and sometimes it works and sometimes not. <laughs> Prosthetics can literally give animals a second chance at life. Hey, handsome big boy, why don't you come out of there? Don't be ugly, come on. Oh don't my goodness. Stop. Come on. I've never done a swan before. This would be my first swan. I've done several other beak prostheses on different birds, but never a swan. And they'll usually just sit. He said, I'm kind of tired of all this. <laughs> this is one of the biggest birds I see, yes. Swans are huge. What do you ISO? I know, big boy. Satara is a mute swan with a damaged beak, and it, it looks like a snapping turtle injury. Jennifer brings me serious cases, and I see a lot of difficult things from her. She brings me some challenges. Avian medicine is a new science. It really is. That's a good boy. You're so handsome. We have to modify things because there's really nothing out there. You're OK, though. The anesthesia mask started out as a Sprite bottle. The masks that I have, dog and cat masks, would not fit on the bird's face. He's calming down a little bit now. So I cut the bottom off of a two liter bottle. It worked out that my anesthesia fittings fit. We have an anesthesia mask. This is a very serious injury. The beak is, is um, deformed from the injury to begin with. That, that's a major issue. A bird's beak is very, very important to their life in, in every way. The most important thing, obviously, is eating. What some people don't think about is birds have to preen, and they use their beak almost exclusively for preening. So the feathers are, are vital to life, and to keep the feathers healthy, they need a beak. With a dog, you can at least draw on what you know about how human legs work. If you're building a brand new beak for a bird, you can't exactly draw on what you've learned from your human patients in order to create that device. The way we construct a prosthetic beak we're going to put pins in, and these pins are designed and used for orthopedic procedures, if you have a broken bone. I use the pins more as a scaffolding or a skeleton. We have to think outside the box all the time. Yes, we do. There's new situations that come up, and if it hasn't been seen before, we may not have the equipment for it. And so we have to think, well, how would this work? Let's try that. And sometimes it works and sometimes not. We use an acrylic that's it's really a dental acrylic. I am uh, using this mold and um, pressing this acrylic down into the mold to get the shape. And then we're going to put it on this beak. Can I hold the head up for me, please? In my mind's eye, I look at it and I see a bird's beak. And so I sculpt the beak and I just shave off what's not supposed to be there. I think Sitar is going to have a dramatic improvement in life. First, I believe he's going to be able to preen. Looking good. The other thing is he's always had a problem eating. You know, food was falling from his beak. And I think we've ended that. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> it's been a little nerve wracking, but we made it. Yeah, I think he's already happy. Oh, he says, I can bite you now. Ow. Look at that. You just got me again. The bird can't tell us whether it's worth it.
but I think if the bird could talk to us, it would say, if it couldn't eat before and now it can eat, then that was a worthy investment. That was worth it to that bird. I don't think that any of these animals are going, oh my goodness, before I had this beak, I was, you know, an ugly swan. I don't think that's the important message. I think the important message is that we're helping them to be the animals, the card-carrying members of their species, who they fully deserve to be. A general question people ask me all the time is why care so much about non-human animals when there's so many human animals that need help. Are we ready? I think if we can save an animal and make that animal have a higher quality life by giving them a prosthetic tail or limb. No, he did great there. That's exactly what he's supposed to do. Then we are obligated to do it. Because what it does is it sends the message that animals aren't just sort of there for our own entertainment and amusement. That these animals aren't things or property like couches. It sends a message that they are sentient beings who have a right to a full and rich life.